Galistio back at it again with an updated recall box, 128 gigabyte image. And this one made my top five on my last 128 gigabyte showdown. And it is another one for the record books. Do note that there's a little bit of setup needed. I included some of it towards the end of this video if you need help switching it to English from Portuguese, as well as there's a secondary video link in the description that's gonna help you out a ton because this is a .bin file, not a .img file, which is a little different, but it works pretty much the same way. With all that said though, check it out some new updates some fixes whenever you get an image and it just gets that little bit of extra things done to it and gets it squared away even more some mistakes are found and fixed that's what we get here so without further ado here we go the latest Galistio 128 Right, Galistio back at it with another recall box image. And for those of you that missed my top 528 gigabyte images, this definitely made the list. It is a beauty. And now we're totally updated. Now with uh, 10,597 games, um, including hacks, a really simple theme. Um, this image does have a couple of little kinks in it that you have to get past, like setting up your controller, changing the language. The other thing is uh, Scum VM is in Portuguese. And then uh, it does have Cody installed with a bunch of those add-on packs like Exodus and the like. And, um, and all you need to do is the subtitles are right now set up in Portuguese, just change them to English. This is Recall Box. So Cody is right there when you hit Start. Uh, you can also do a shortcut. I believe you hit Y on your controller. Yep, you hit Y on your controller. No, I don't want to go to Cody. But if I did, it does come with Asylum, Covenant, Neptune Rising, the Pyramid, and Reboot, Rebirth add-ons already installed. So that's a bonus. You just have to change those uh, those subtitles. I have this on a SanDisk Ultra, 128 gigabyte. And uh, it's a dot .bin file, 127 billion, 108 or 127 billion 865,520,000 bytes, 119 gigabytes. You will need a program called Image USB in order to write this image, and you are gonna need a uh, USB to micro USB adapter. So yet your micro USB connects to your computer via a USB port, and typically you would do that with the adapter. Now, uh, it works, I got it working, you just need to do those little things. Um, other things while we're talking about it is um, Cave Story is, uh, there's a Cave Story game, it's just a small little game, is in Portuguese. And then the Scum VM is in Portuguese as well, it's not that cave. There's a cave over here. And uh, we're about to get into the good though, there's a lot of good going on here, Cave Story there. So it still has 10,597 games, 76 systems, and it's running Recall Box version 4.1. So already some cool things. Continued, fixed bugs from the previous version. Coleco and Odyssey and Capcom have all been uh, fixed some bugs where the gaming wasn't working. Now they work. They added uh, Dynavision, Amiga 600, Amiga 1200, and Sharp X68000 systems. Um, a couple other things, uh, MAME now runs Moonwalker, Alex Kidd, Altered Beast, theme updated with s source switching and new systems in music. Um, something cool about the theme music is there's a different music for each, as you scroll over to each individual game. Um, added Nintendo hacks as well. Um, added some rare games like Alex Kidd 2, Alex Kidd 3, Star Fox 2, Cave Story, which is in uh, Portuguese, and some Scum VM, and also um, with the uh, Super in Nintendo 64, even as the Super Mario 64, with the first person, Super Mario 64. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and get into this. Let's start at Dreamcast. So Dreamcast, 22 games. 
And uh, Dreamcast runs pretty good on here. So a lot of these games are going to run. Nice to see. These are some bigger games. So nice to see, uh, you know, 21 Dreamcast games. Game Gear, 262. Sega SG-1000, 68. Star Wars Collection. So this is really system. We'll skip that. PlayStation, 90 games. So he's got Cramps from Endicott and Road Rash as his favorites. And uh, quite a few collections of PlayStation games. So fit in the lot on here. Now this does not have video snaps because Recall Box does not support video snaps. So that's going to save a lot more space for games. You know, that could be an additional 10, 20, 30 PlayStation games. PSP, so nice to see. A lot of these games do run as long as they're not too 3D like. And I've tested these before and these all run pretty good. All right, and Street Fighter Alpha 3. PC Engine, 290. PC Engine CD-ROM, 19 of these. These take up quite a bit of space. Super Graphics, 5. Pretty standard there. Scum VM, there's 10. So not taking up too much space. And you can delete these, especially if you want English. and uh, Or just switch them out to the uh, English uh, versions. Neo Geo, 138. Looks like he's a King of Fighters fan, favoriting all those. Should have your... Um, your metal slugs as well. So a lot of little hacks here. So that's cool to see. A large Neo Geo hack collection. You don't see that very often. Usually you only see the hacks for the consoles, for the you know Nintendo Sega consoles. So good to see. Cave Story is just a standalone game, but it is in Brazil, Brazilian. You'd probably want to reinstall that and get it as English if you want. Atari 2600, 643, 7864, Atari Link 76, Neo Geo Pocket 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color 82, Wonder Swan 112, Wonder Swan Color 91, Doom, four games. So you got Doom, 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 Doom. Plutonia and Doom TNT installed. Coleco 149. Vetrix 90. Amstrad 360. Apple II 23. A lot of games here. MSX 1 and 2. Six, over 600 there. Commodore Amiga 600. This is brand new right here. So cool to see. Aladdin and the disc setup. Commodore 1200. 174 games. And then uh, this is new, the 68,000 Sharp, 232. Nice to see. Odyssey, 116. So now we're in the collection. So we got shoot 'em ups, Capcom games, but then we have mains. So only 391 arcades, so not that crazy. Um, I don't know if that includes Cap the CPA. Yeah, this is Final Burn, so 71 on here. Final Burn Alpha, Libretro. Uh, MAME, and then MAME Hacks, 16 games. So Street Fighter II Championship Edition Hacks. Street Fighter M4, Sunset Riders hack, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time hack, The Punisher, Twin Cobra, Cadillacs, and Dinosaurs. A couple different versions there. So then we got some more collections on the uh, arcades. Yes, so that's exactly what he did. So he dismembered the MAME system. So the main, the arcade games you have to add in all your shoot 'em ups your capcoms your your all your different publishers he broke it up so there's no duplicates you know all your midway games are in here so if you want to do mortal kombat they're all here amco snk so all your arcade games all set up all of his favorites in here you can see all of his favorites a lot of really good games a lot of the games that he was highlighting in his description can be found here so this is a good place to start if you want to start gaming. A lot of really good games here. Super Nintendo 901, Super Nintendo Hacks 93, Super Famicom 159, Nintendo 820, Nintendo Hacks 13, Dynavision 100 games here, Nintendo 64 236, good to see. Nintendo 64 Hacks 20 hack games. So. Some Mario 64, DK 64, 74, Galaxy, all sorts of stuff. Game Boy 489, Game Boy Advance 1062, Game Boy Color 554, Family Computer Disk System 237, Virtual Boy 26, Game & Watch 51, Sega Master System 292, some more collections there, Tech Toy uh, 41, uh, Sega Mega Drive 816, Sega Mega Drive Hacks 58, So a lot of them. You've seen those before, though. Sega CD 20. So a lot of the best of the best. Sonic CD. No Terminator, though. 
Sad. Very sad. No Terminator. <laughs> but still, that's all, that's all right. Uh, Sega 32X, 37, and then we're back at Sega Dreamcast. Something I did want to check really quick was how the portables were displaying. So let's go ahead and load a, uh, a uh, game really quick. You can see it just kind of goes into the system like that. You got the uh, launch screen. Okay, so it looks like all the reses are set normal, no bezels. And then let's go ahead and load a, uh, let's go ahead and go over to his favorite and load some of those games up. So, um, King of Fighters, let's make sure Neo Geo's working. Looking good. And here we are. We're in the game. Okay, so that's working good. Start select out. Let's try a different system. Tetris. Okay, Sequest, Pitfall. We got Frogger. Let's make sure our arcade work is working. All right, looking good. All right, that's working just fine. Um, Alex the Kid 2 was one of the rarities. Let's make sure this is, in fact, working. All right. In the Miracle World, too. Nice. So this is working good. All right. Okay, this is working. All right, plug in a controller, hold down the A button. You should get to this setting here. Go ahead and do your D-pad first. Just follow the icons, the up, down, left, right. Uh, this is your analog stick one, your left analog stick. So just do up and then left. You don't have to do a right or a down. And then your second analog stick, up and then left again. And that's all you should have to do for your analogs. There's no right or down. A, B, X, Y should be fairly simple. Follow the pictures in front of you. Start select, fairly simple as well. When you get down to the L1, R1, those are my bumpers. So left bumper, right bumper. L2, R2 is your triggers. L3, just hold down the A button and skip these and then set select as your hotkey. So you're skipping L3, R3. When you get back in, hit start on your controller, go to the second menu item, then go down four on this one to idioma, which is language, and then changes to English, and then click, click fetcher, which means back. It's gonna say, hey, do you wanna restart in, in Portuguese? You just press the okay button, A again, and then it'll reboot and you're all set. There you have it. Um, this menu system is definitely big. I don't know if I'm necessarily a fan of that, but at the same time, I mean, when you get a 128 gigabyte image, I really feel like people want these ultimate collections and this one does not disappoint. Now, remember those things I mentioned, how there is a little bit of little customization you have to do here, but I really like it because it's a fully loaded recall box image. There's no BS here. This is all games, nothing else. Um, do note that I made a video about how to set up his old image and the same things apply as far as how you write it to a USB and what adapter you need, um, setting up your controls, and changing the language, it's all the same. So that video is still gonna be very relevant to this build. Once you go through that video, you get it set up the way you want. The only downsides I see are, you know, change the subtitles in your Kodi, change out your Scum VM and your Cave Story. Everything else should be good to go. Um, some people think that's a drag, but it's fairly easy to do. It's still got like my top four 128, and with these updates and some fixes that I didn't catch before, uh, these uh, the system is just even even better. Um, you don't see a 128 with this many games, including some high-end systems like the PSP and the PlayStation. The other thing is this image has some games I've never seen on any other image, like the uh, Alex the Kid hacks, the Super Mario 64 hacks, like all of them. So it definitely is a loaded image and something new and, and refreshing. So I welcome that uh, very much. So uh, with all that said, I'm going to have to give this one... Um, 
I'm gonna give it, I'm really, I would like to give it an A. I know a lot of you out there who find this, you know, the editing and the changing really uh, a drag. You guys probably would want me to say A minus, so I'd say A minus to you guys. But for those of you that could get your way around recall box just a little bit, I gotta give this one an A because with those small fixes, you got such a beautiful thing here. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.